I was the first ever England player to come out. There's not many of us in the world that are out. And I think, you know, thankfully, a lot of people have followed suit. I think we still need more people to do that. You don't understand how that feels for somebody to carry that huge weight on your shoulders every day where someone says, what did you do on the weekend? And you can't tell them what you did because you're with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Before she went to Arsenal, she was playing in the boys' team, and the other team would see, oh, there's a girl playing, and started cracking jokes that, you know, girls can't play football. The dads would be on the line with their, from the other teams, and they'd be going, oh, you'll be all right, because you're marking a girl. They had a lot more respect for her after the game than they did before. There was this energy around you that was hoping for you to fail or people wanting to discredit you even if you were actually able to do all the things that everybody else was doing and in Leanne's case maybe more. I first started playing football when I was five years old. Um, it was for a boys team locally in Catford called Elms FC and um, it was my dad's uh, friends team. One of my um, teammates Ray, he managed a under seven team. Leanne asked me if I'd ask Ray if she could go and train. For about five weekends on the trot, we'd come home from football, Dad, Dad, did you ask Ray? Dad, Dad, did you ask Ray? Every time, I'd ask him next week, darling. I'm, I'll, I'll ask him next week, darling. Dad had been telling me he was asking Ray for a long time, but never asked him. I said, you know, Ray, I want to play for your team, I want to play for your team. He told me to come to training the next day, and then the rest is history. I signed for that team, Elms, played for them for three years, and then I signed for Arsenal when I was nine years old. Jeff actually changed his, his job at one stage so he could work all night and come home to take her to football. My mum and dad used to drive on a Saturday morning to Garston, which is near Watford. We'd play seven minutes each way for one game. Without them, I don't think I'd be where I am now. And, you know, I've seen friends that I've played with and grown up with when I was younger that were good enough, but they just didn't have that support. Keep going along the side. Good girls. Four! Four! Good. Four! Tell them, tell them. Say, I've got a ball, I've got a ball, good. And switch. Really good work, ladies. I like the fact that everyone's attempting to do it. Why does it matter if you're gay, straight, bi, non-binary, whatever you might be? I want people to just know that they shouldn't judge people so quickly. If you're a, a white male, you wouldn't have had to experience being followed around the shop because they think you're gonna steal something, as me and my dad have since I was younger. You should get to know people because sometimes people make comments and jokes with me and they don't know anything about me. All you're going to do, nice and fast, slalom, 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 good, good, good. And sprint back, good. Good feet, good, really good. I think opportunities for young girls is definitely improving. Girls that are aspiring to play sport at the highest level need to see role models in um, good positions. They need to see them actually earning good money, um, gaining the publicity and the respect that they deserve. I just try to give the girls everything I can and, you know, and hopefully if one girl's inspired, then so be it. And it doesn't matter if they don't want to play football. I just want to inspire them to show them there's a regular girl from South East London that grew up, that got scouted from rounds five minutes down the road. On your toes, go! I want to say, give yourselves a round of applause for today, because it was really, really good. Really, really good. And I've been impressed. I know it's not easy coming out here. We've been out here for a couple of hours. We've been through the rain. But I tell you what, you girls have got an unbelievable attitude, and I hope that you can take that further. People that know me know how much I love football. Football is my religion, and I eat, sleep, and breathe it. When I go out onto the pitch, I get that feeling of, like, you know, I come alive, and nothing will ever change that.